Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently at the moment, it looks like Microsoft is trying to increase the performance again in the Microsoft Edge web browser. And if you use Microsoft Edge as your web browser, you will know that under settings in the system menu, you have a feature uh, in the optimize and performance section called save resources with sleeping tabs. And this says when this is on inactive tabs will go to sleep after a specified time to save system resources. And you can put those inactive tabs to sleep after two hours of inactivity, which is the default setting. And this ranges from 12 hours right down to five minutes of inactivity. And those are the options currently available in the stable version of Edge. Now, if we just head over to Microsoft Edge Canary and we go to uh, settings and the system menu, which is called system and performance in Edge Canary, you will see under optimized performance, there are a couple of uh, settings here that you will not currently find in the stable version. And that's because uh, Edge Canary is a pre-release version of uh, the browser used for testing and experimenting. Now, with save resources with sleeping tabs, you can put in active tabs to sleep after two hours of inactivity. That's the same. And then it goes now from 12 hours of inactivity and you can go right down to less than a minute of inactivity. Um, where in the stable version, it's only up to five minutes of inactivity. So if you are really into the performance side of things in your Edge browser, you will might have the option in the not too distant future to have less than a minute of inactivity to put those tabs to sleep to save system resources. And as of recently, this has currently made its way also this less than a minute of inactivity. It's also now available in the a dev channel, the uh, Microsoft Edge dev version of the browser, which looks like now, you know, it's gone from the Canary version to dev, then it's beta, and then it looks like it's going to be making its way down to the stable version in the not too distant future. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.